I'm going to talk to you about anchoring. I'm also going to talk to you about anchoring in the moment, which is something that I didn't hear at the beginning of my NLP training, but is a very powerful technique. But first of all, for those of you who have got no idea what anchoring is, this is a technique I still use today to help give myself a boost of confidence when I give a presentation or a talk. Each of us can hopefully remember times of confidence. And if you think about anchoring, when we go and hear music, it can take us back to a certain time in our life. The smell of a particular perfume might take us back to a date. Baked bread may take us back to our childhood. There are so many different anchors in life when you hear them, see them, or sometimes even feel them and smell them, you can go back to that time. It can be used very powerfully for confidence. So I like to say now that remember a time when you felt confident and be what's called associated. So in NLP, association is that you're looking out of your own body, out of your own eyes, and your own feelings. You're not looking at yourself disassociated. You're not seeing it as if somebody else is seeing you. So what you do is you remember that time, see what you saw, feel what you felt, hear what you heard, and add any tastes and smells if applicable. Really take your time to get into the mental movie of remembering what exactly it was like during that time of confidence. Now, whilst you're visualising that time of confidence, I want you to turn up the sound so it becomes louder, maybe more sharp, more clarity to what you're hearing. The good feelings, really building up all those wonderful feelings of pride and confidence with inside yourself. And the visualisation, make sure the colours become brighter, richer, sharper, bolder, so much more colourful and really turn up everything so it's as compelling as it possibly can be. And whilst you're running through this wonderful memory, I want you to squeeze your thumb and finger, either index finger and thumb or middle finger and thumb, whilst visualising this wonderful positive time. The trick is with doing an anchor is that you anchor when you're at that most excited, when you're really feeling all those good feelings, you want to make sure you time it right. So it might take a bit of practice and holding your finger between five and 10 seconds tends to be about right, but you want to squeeze it before any feelings start to dip off, before you start losing some of that visualization. So if you, when you practice it sometime, you'll get used to how to time this. Then you want to practice this technique several times a day. When I practice this at home, I run about five memories or sometimes the same memory over and over again. And this way, when you squeeze your thumb and finger together, you're stacking the anchor, you're, you're putting all the different positive memories on to give you a really good, confident boost. And then if you've got to do a presentation or do something which you need a bit of confidence, then just before you go ahead and speak or do what you need to do, you squeeze your thumb and finger together and you trigger the anchor, making yourself feel a lot more confident. If you've gone and done this process through with me, now just squeeze your thumb and finger together and just prove to yourself that you are getting some of those confident feelings. I did say I'll talk about anchoring in the moment. This is if you've done something you're particularly proud about. So let's say you've done the presentation, let's say you've applied all the NLP techniques and you felt really confident and you're just coming off from doing that talk that you've just given. You're feeling great about yourself. In that moment, you can squeeze your thumb and finger together again. This is what's called anchoring the moment. This is a very strong, powerful anchor because it's really happening, it's no longer a memory. You're really are feeling all those proud feelings, all those confident feelings buzzing round inside you. So practice this technique. Write down in the comment section below how powerful it was for you. I'd love to hear from you. 
Also as well, if you find these videos useful, then you can click the subscribe button. And if you press that bell, you get every single notification. Also as well, if you want to look at my website and see how I can help you out with NLP and hypnotherapy and how you can use these techniques to take your life to the next level, then you can click on my website. Just go to www.paulgoddardnlp.co.uk. Thank you for watching.